What is your company doing to handle social problems given it's building all this technology and spending billions of dollars but is even a small chunk of that being spent for social purposes or for getting the technology into the hands of people who don't have a lot of money? Human trafficking is a very serious problem, not just limited to poor countries, but is also a big problem here in the U.S. Sometimes it happens uh, without the use of force. You know, a girl, she runs away, she's in a big city and, you know, a nice man approaches her and, and, uh, Human trafficking is when someone is being forced to perform services against their will and against legal regulations. And there's probably a definition somewhere which I'm going to have to look up though. But... <laughs> you can imagine the expense of investigating just one case, you know, multiple attorneys, investigators against uh, one trafficker. And what we see from the web is there are hundreds or thousands of these uh, traffickers. They currently operate with very little fear of getting caught. Given that there's so much information on the web, law enforcement could use this information to help them to answer a lot of questions and to cut down on the cost that it is currently taking to investigate each case. So suppose Ashley is a 15 year old who's run away from home and then a few months from now you know enter Clara an investigator who is tracking down this case but so far she hasn't found anything. The case has gone cold. Clara gets a tip off from someone who claims that they've seen Ashley in a sex advertisement um, along with a phone number and now she has something to work with. She has a lead but the question is what does she do? the most obvious thing would be to go and, and type the phone number in Google and when Clara searches for the phone number on Google she sees more than 150,000 pages crop up. Clara is basically doing police work with a tool that's meant for people who are trying to find movies and restaurants. No, you need to click on the download button. No, I no, no, no. Oh, the image. Yeah. <clears throat> Officer Clara fires up the dig search engine to look up the phone number she got on the tip. So she puts in her phone number and clicks search. Dig is able to retrieve 620 pages that contain this phone number. Ashley now has a working name called Princess Nadia. Clara also sees a lot of other information that shows up on the side of the page. In Dig, we call these facets and what these do is that it reads all the 620 web pages and then tries to summarize the information that it has extracted from those web pages in a single panel. Clara sees a lot of phone numbers that were advertised along with this phone number, which suggests that Ashley slash Nadia may have been inducted into a ring. We click on this ad. What Dig has done is that it's looked at the content in the ad and it has read that content and has extracted key pieces of information from that content. And so it's really doing a lot of work for Clara. So it's giving her more like this results. So each of these results are very similar to the ad that has just been opened up. In case Clara wants to keep on exploring, she can form what's called a case around this phone number. So this is like a real world case that Clara is trying to investigate. And what she's telling Dig is that if you see a new ad that comes on the web, and it contains this phone number, then send me an alert so I can stay on top of the case. So in a way, um, Clara almost, it's almost like Clara has an assistant on the ground that is scanning the web. You know, with the capabilities that we're giving Clara, in any given year, she, she can investigate hundreds of cases, not um, just three or four cases. She can basically do in minutes things that would have taken her months to do before. The web has been used to promote you know, illegal sex activity, it's been used for cyberbullying. We can also use technology to, to fight those evils and to really change society for the better. Anybody can install it on their laptop and really get started with uh, you know, investigating a new social good domain, whatever it is.